So uh, today we're going to take a look a little bit about the basic Windows function uh, called Disk Cleanup. Uh, disk Cleanup actually comes uh, with Windows 7 or Windows 8. And if you see here, this uh, SSD I have is pretty full. So I've deleted some things. I'm, there's other things I can delete as well. But I can control all these uh, the extra files in here by simply typing in uh, Disk Cleanup from the menu. And then we'll go over to here. And we see right there, and it launches the disk uh, cleanup utility, and which is an automatic utility that allows you to get rid of unnecessary or unwanted files. Now, depending upon how long it's been since you did the last one, it may take a while for it to come up. But you notice here we have a list of the different kinds of files that are uh, available for us to take a look at. And you can go down the list here. You can see that some of these could take up quite a bit of space, and. Uh, you can delete some of them because they're not necessary. Some of the old installation files, some of the old different things. But down here we have advanced, which is what we want to talk about a little bit more today. And we'll go out there and it'll scan this for other things like service pack backup files. And you'll see a, a list come by here. And again, it may take a while for it to figure it all out and everything because there's a lot of files out there possibly. Uh, log files, all that. It'll come back with a list of all those that uh, it wants suge suggesting you look at to delete. So when it starts off, you click on OK after you've selected those files. Some of them are pretty large, a half a gig, you know, for some of the old system backups, the service pack updates, Windows update, a lot of the different files that you really don't need anymore. Uh, it's going to take a while, so I'm going to skip to the end here because it's going to take, for those files, it's going to take quite a bit of time to go out and uh, delete everything. Now, once it finishes, uh, it comes up with a dialog box, and you can select each one and uh, take a look at how much this space is being used and all that. So we look here. Now, you'll notice that Windows Disk Update Cleanup's got 400 some uh, downloaded program files, none temporary internet files. So they all have different sizes. And depending upon what you see here is what you want to uh, take a look at and what you want to delete. Just scroll down and select which ones you want. Uh, some of these are history files for backups and stuff you don't want to touch. Uh, you can go ahead and just uh, leave those alone. Uh, but the recycle bin, 722 megabytes, uh, system log files, uh, 340k, that's no big deal really. Uh, there's another half a gig right there. So you see a total here of 2, two gig uh, available. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go down here to, and say, OK, I'm done. I've reviewed all that and say, OK. Now, this could take quite a while, again, depending upon, especially the, the Windows Update files and all that. If you have an old Windows 7 system that's been out there for years and years and years and you've never updated any of this or cleaned any of this in the advanced mode, you have quite a few files out there. So again, I'm going to go ahead and skip to the end of that. And uh, we'll see here, it's finishing up. and. Uh, depending upon your system, we'll go ahead and go do a refresh, and we'll see that we have 12 gig left rather than 8 gigs, so we reclaim quite a bit of disk space. So there you have it, the uh, basic uh, Windows function that everybody should know, uh, run the disk cleanup and advanced disk cleanup every so often to keep your hard drive uh, cleaned up and all those unnecessary files uh, gone. Hey, for more great tips from Old Guy Geek, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, take a look at our playlist, Windows 8 playlist, Windows Phone 8 playlist, and a general how-to. And, of course, our latest uh, feature video. And thanks for watching.